ओके नेक्स्ट वन इज एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द स्पीड ऑफ द पंप नाउ आई एम गोइंग टेक अ वन वेसल एंड दिस वेसल कंटेन अ गैस एंड इट हैज अ प्रेशर पी एंड इट हैज अ वॉल्यूम वी ओके एंड लेट हियर दैट इज देयर ओनली लेट पी बी द प्रेशर एट एनी इंस्टेंट इन द वेसल ऑफ अ वॉल्यूम वी एंड पी नॉट बी द हियर पी नॉट इज द लोवेस्ट लिमिटिंग प्रेशर अटेनेबल लोवेस्ट लिमिटिंग प्रेशर अटेनेबल एंड यस इज द स्पीड ऑफ द पंप यस इज द स्पीड ऑफ द पंप एट दिस प्रेशर ओके नाउ दैट वेसल इज कनेक्टेड टू द पंप ओके फ्रॉम द वेसल we are going to remove the gas or a air with the help of pump right now the rate of reduction of the pressure the rate of reduction of the pressure in the vessel is given by actually we are going to reduce the pressure in the vessel okay that uh, the rate of reduction of the pressure in a given vessel is given by minus dp divided by dt and here s is the speed of the pump and p is the that is a pressure in the vessel at any instant and p not is the lowest limiting pressure attainable and v is the volume of the vessel so the rate of reduction of the pressure in the vessel is given by minus dp divided by dt is equal to s into p minus p not divided by v that is equation number 1 now i am going to take this p minus p not on the right hand side and i am going to take a dt on the left hand side so this equation becomes minus dp divided by Minus dp divided by p minus p not is equal to s divided by v into dt. That is equation number two. Now I am going to integrate this equation with applying the limit pressure p one to p two with the instant of time t one to t two. Okay. Then I have integrated with the limit p one to p two minus dp divided by p minus p not is equal to integration of t two to t one to t two s divided by v into dt. Okay. After the integration of this term, then I will get already minus is there, so minus as it is, and log p minus p not with the limit p one to p two, and s by s divided by v that is a constant term. So I have taken outside, and integration of this dt is a t. So then with the limits t one to t two, then after applying the limit, we will get log p one minus p not divided by p two minus p not that is equal to s divided by v. T two minus T one. Now I want yes, that is the speed. Okay, so I want yes. I am going to write like this: yes is equal to V divided by T two minus T one into log P one minus P not T two divided by P two minus P not. That is equation number three. Okay, if the limiting pressure is too low, means that limiting pressure means that is P not is a very low so i am going to neglect that term so that equation 3 becomes s is equal to v divided by t2 minus t1 log e p1 divided by p2 that is equation number 4 and it is known as a gadis equation and if p1 divided by p2 is equal to e okay and t2 minus t1 is equal to 1 second so now i am going to substitute these value in the above equation So what is going to happen if I substitute e value here? Then this term becomes one. Okay, log e is nothing but a one. Okay, and t two minus t one that is one second. So that is also one. Thus, s is equal to v, and it gives the intrinsic speed of the pump. Intrinsic speed of the pump. So that intrinsic speed of the pump is defined as the the volume in which it can reduce the pressure. It can reduce the pressure to the one by Uh, one by exponential of its instantaneous value in a one second. That is, we have to call it as a intrinsic speed of the pump. Okay. Now I am going to substitute p not is equal to zero. Means that lowest limiting pressure is zero. So taking the attainable vacuum to be perfect. Okay. Then we get equation one becomes. So if I this p not is equal to zero means Then we will get minus dp divided by dt as it is, and s by v, and only into p. Okay. Hence, uh, I want s. S is equal to minus v divided by p into dp divided by dt. That is equation number five. Okay. And this gives the speed of the exhaust pump. 
this gives the speed of a exhaust pump or the pumping speed that is E as defined by the Langmuir. We have uh, according to the Langmuir we are going to rewrite this equation that is E is equal to minus V by P into dp divided by dt that is equation number 6 okay and next one is a next one i have taken the dv volume of the gas from the vessel and it has initially that volume is v and at that pressure is p in a time dt then pv is equal to p minus dp into v plus dv and after the multiplication of this term we will get pv is equal to pv plus p dv minus v dp minus dp dv and this term is a very small and it is a neglected and now after the simplification of this term uh, we will get p into dv is equal to v into dp then i want dv dv is equal to v by p into dp okay now i am going to divide on the both side by dt then dv by dt is equal to v by p into dp by dt this is the equation number 7 from equation 6 and 7 we have uh, already we know that equation 6 is e is equal to minus v by p into dp divided by dt right now uh, in this equation i am going to write i am going to uh, take from equation comparing equation number 6 and 7 i am going to write e is equal to minus dv divided by dt okay and this e is nothing but a speed of an exhaust pump speed of an exhaust pump and this speed of an exhaust pump is defined as the rate of change of the volume of the gas in a vessel at any instant the volume being measured when uh, the pressure is attained by the pump at that instant we have to measure the volume of the gas okay in that vessel and now i am going to substituting the value of dp divided by dt from equation number one that is minus dp divided by dt is equal to s p minus p naught divided by v that is equation number one now i am going to uh, substitute that equation number one in a equation number six that equation number six is e is equal to minus v by p into dp divided by dt okay and here already I am going to take minus dp by dt is nothing but s into p minus p naught divided by v. I have substituted here. Okay. And this term remain as it is v by p. And after the simplification v, we get cancelled here. And uh, e is equal to s into p minus p naught divided by p. Or we can uh, divide by p in the inside. Then we will get e is equal to sorry. This term is like this. Okay. Then E is equal to V by P into S by V P minus P naught. Then V we get cancelled and this is equal to S by P into P minus P naught. And now I am going to take the denominator P term inside the bracket. So what is going to happen? And uh, we will get E is equal to S into 1 minus P naught divided by P. Right? And the final conclusion is initially that P is very very greater than the P naught means so that denominator term is a very very greater so it, this P naught divided by P is equal to 0 and that initially the intrinsic speed is equal to the exhaust speed of the pump. And second conclusion is as p approaches to p naught so what is going to happen as p approaches to p naught this term becomes 1 okay so 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 then e is equal to 0 so e is equal to 0 means that the speed of the exhaust pump is 0 means that the pump loses all its exhaust speed at the lowest possible pressure but the pump is designed but the pump is designed in a such a way that it can produce the high vacuum and also it has the high exhaust speed at a um, given pressure.